So, you know, Cosmic's kind of showing off right now. As you can see, Mario is insanely close to the right side of the screen. It's so not needed. You just wait. The best part is yet to come. Where's the flagpole? Yo, Cosmic and Mitch, that's right. Go for it. Go for it. All right, I am not as good, but you know, I'm not too bad. We're gonna, we're gonna definitely like have fun, try and like grab power-ups and like dick around and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Oh, I tried to SMB3 mix it. All right, so you, you kind of know the levels, but they're pretty different. That's like un uh, unattainable now, isn't it? Um, you'd have to jump and like tap away and like, oh, you got it. We got it, we got it. I've played Mario before. Wait, can I, I can do the same thing to get up here. You know, I did do speedruns. I don't know why I'm doing the level like this, but I love it. You've done Warpless before? Warpless SMB3, or SMB1, or, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've done Warpless before. Right on. Believe it or not, so I've, close I've actually play. found a way to, you can you can be small Mario and get a Fire Flower in Mario 3 and get a uh, Fire Flower. You have to like glitch it with like a coin and stuff. It's really weird. Really? Yeah, if you can definitely show off small Mario fire in this, do it. But I think you have to wait until you get to the, the last level of, of the world, right? Like it has to be done yeah. in a fortress, like a, like against Bowser, right? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I'll let you take I'll let you take the reins okay. for this level to, to set it up. Okay. Yo I'm dying two one once I get it. <laughs> oh, I'll die. Uh yo, Bushner, thank you for the Twitch Prime, man. I really appreciate that three months in a row. Welcome back. Yo, King Leopold, what's up? Zero planes, goose to juice. What's going on? What up, guys? You guys can hear Cosmic, okay, right? I, I, I'm sure it's Twitch chat. Can you guys would. What's that? Yeah, they'd complain if they couldn't hear you. Oh, worst luck. Okay, so what do you? You have to grab the axe and take damage at like, the same frame. The, the same frame, yeah. okay. Which is pretty easy because like their heights, right? The axe and Bowser's height. Yeah. It's pretty close to the same. And you can like start moving left before you hit the axe. Okay. So what do I? So right, I have in to the grab. Middle of that, there's a mushroom. And grab it. Yeah. <laughs> and it made me small somehow. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's messed up. All right, and then now I have to get a fire flower. Yeah, the bottom left block of these. I'm scared to like take damage. Oh my god. Bottom left. <laughs> I know my left and rights. <laughs> Here we go. I almost, yeah, see, I almost died. You okay. got it, man. Dude, that's so weird. So you like grow when you shoot. That's yeah, messed up. Yeah, your hitbox up. doesn't, but. Okay, so I'm still like small Mario. Mm -hmm. Isn't there a beanstalk here? And if you get hit, yeah, there is. If you get hit, you'll just grow into big Mario. <laughs> so it's like kind of like backwards and yeah, stuff. That's so random. Yeah, your size backwards. Dude, that's so weird. I kind of like that. But if I shoot like, so I'm my head's not actually there, right? No, like you wouldn't grab coins with it. Oh, if I shot. Okay, I see, I see, I see. So essentially, Mario has no clue what he's doing. Oh. Yeah. Almost got the ump. Yo, dude, what's going on? Flight bowl glitch. <laughs> Two in a row, wow, not nice. <laughs> dude, not even close. That's so true. Here, while well, you're playing, let me grab you a water. Okay, sure, thanks. Let me grab you a water. It's hard to, like, keep talking and, like... This, this is the level, it was like about a year ago right now, Mitch raided me, like right around here in my Warpless world record, so that's pretty cool. Every time he raids me now, I'm like, oh, I have to get world record. Every time I raise you now, you're like, oh, I gotta get the world record. <laughs> yeah. You can go, yeah, you can go to my Warpless record and in that level, I'm like, oh, hey, Mitch, thanks for the raid, dude. And then you just leave and miss it. What the heck? <laughs> I had to go freshen up. After every stream, you gotta like go take a shower, clean up. I missed it. Question, is the earth flat or round? None of your business. Is the earth flat or round, Cosmic? I don't know, dude. I think it's just like, <laughs> is a looping screen, you know? Oh my gosh. It's neither, it's a simulator, right? We're all in the matrix. <laughs> this is like it's so 
so close. I'm not even trying for it. I'm just, I'm debating you. You can do it on that level. There's a good setup. A convex disc is what the earth is. Is what, do <laughs> yo, Dode, how's your task going? What's he tasking? He's tasking Grand Poo World right now. So, I just learned today, guys, that Cosmic has not actually done an authentic shell jump. And we're going to get you to do one. We're going to get him to shell jump in Mario 3 and Super Mario World. I might have done one in Mario World, like, once, but... Did it, is there a video proof of it? No, Didn't definitely happen. not. Didn't happen. You're right. Okay. I fucked up. So... There's always this thing that I've wondered as a kid, why sometimes the one-up's here and why it's not. Do you know why that yeah. is? So, every first level of a world, it's not going to be here. Oh, you it's already like, know it's... Like, it's like right there. Oh, you already know it's not going to yeah. be here, though? So, every first level of a world has an invisible one-up like that. And it, every third level of a world has a bunch of coins in it. And you have to collect all the coins. And then in the next world, the one-up will Oh, appear. wow. It's like Mario 1's version of like a coin ship. Yeah, kind Weird. of. Weird. Okay, so I'm big Mario right now. Am I actually? Hit, you'll die. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so I'm big Mario, but not really, and that's why mushrooms still come out of the the power. Yeah. Okay, that's man, that's messed up. Ten exits down. Kind of took a it's break. The worst. You get nice. small fire, and it's like the best power up state. But if you get hit, it's the worst. <laughs> it's horrible. So why is so small fire Mario is the best because you're small, you can fit in any like cranny and. Yeah. Whoops. You can, uh... I had do, no like, idea that... Bowser kills a lot easier. Yeah. I had, dude, I... And running past Bowser, too. You don't have to worry about, like, ducking or yeah. duck jumping through his, like, uh... Dude, I had no idea that this game had, like, its own version of, like, coin ships. That's mm -hmm. so weird. But it's, like... It's preemptive. You have to set up the coin ship at the yeah. end of a previous world to get ready for the if next you, world. If you warp to the world, it'll be there, though. So that's usually how people find them because they just oh without having to like worry at all about yeah. um <clears throat> okay oh is that why the one in four one is always there yeah because when you take the warp pipe it's it's it doesn't matter what you did previous yeah ah. or if you come from game over it's it's there there's kind of a do you know about the one up on the flagpole in lost levels I I always nope. say that's like coin ship you have to have like a multiple of 11 in your coins and then match the time. That's definitely where they got the idea of coin ships from Mario yeah. 3. Yeah. That's exactly how a coin ship works in Mario 3. There's no way that they didn't take that same idea and put it in Mario 3. That's crazy. I used to think Mario 3 was original. Nope. It's all... It's I mean, all... Today we learned the better game. <laughs> God. Nice, that's cool. You like intentionally face bonk to like stop yeah. you so you can finish the shots. And he can like change direction midair, but if you jump into that, you just like cover all his options. Crazy. How did you glitch to be small Mario when you got the mushroom? Aren't you listening? You know? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's like there's like a two step process when you get hit. It like tells the game you got hit, but then the next frame it actually shrinks you. So if you touch the axe at the same time you get hit, then it never actually shrinks you, but it thinks you got hit. If you're not going for flagpole, though, you want to hit the top of the flag. Yeah. <clears throat> the higher you are, the more likely chance you don't touch the brick when you jump off. That's yeah. why? Okay. Yeah. See, saves. I know these things, you know. I'm not only Mario 3. Saves, I know a couple things. Saves like 0. 0.2. 0. 0.2. <laughs> but then flagpole is like way better, right? You want to... Yeah. Like, point two compared to flagpole, it's like, go for it. No. So, after you try once, you can't try it again. Yeah, your subpixels are all messed up. Okay. <laughs> I can't pay for subpixels anymore. I'm sorry. I'm broke. Oh, I went the lame way. I should have gone the more fun bottom route. The, the more fun bottom route. He's trying to save frame rules, but I keep messing him up with, with everything that I'm doing. Yo, Maru, what's going on? Jay Price, how's it going? Dude. Passing the controller back and forth definitely shows the recycling of this game. Because, like, I keep getting these levels. And they just... 
A lot of, like, after World 4, the game is pretty close to recycling, right? Yeah, the first one's 5-3. When they repeat some levels, if that's what you mean. Mm-hmm. I noticed that when I was doing, like, a little bit of ROM hacking, like, looking at the levels. I was like, this is the exact same level. Mm -hmm. It's just, like, harder in some ways with some of the platforms. Or, like, they'll just have infinite bullet bills. That's it. Right. Yeah, that's 5-3. <laughs> <laughs> So, in case you guys were wondering, I'm in charge of the middle levels. That's my job right now. Alright, Bowser. Jump forwards. Nice. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> I wanted the 349. You can't get it. You can't get the 349. Stop freaking with him. My main goal is to distract Cosmic as much as I can right now. And get him to... What level am I on? I gotta go to do everything I can to look good right now. <laughs> we have the whole rest of the night for me to look terrible. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not. We both. Oh my gosh, we both have our game, so yeah. it's okay. Not bad. Did I touch it? Of course. I play it safe. Or risk it all. Risk it all. I don't know what that means, but risk it all. I'm gonna get shot, dude. Jesus clip. Alright, we're good. <laughs> we're good. We're good. That, it's <laughs> all. It's, it's over. That, wasn't that intense? <laughs> it's over now. I assume that the bullet bill. You could probably keep track of that bullet bill uh, from the beginning of the game, right? You would in yeah. warpless run. You would you would yeah. know, but because we've been kind of messing around, you have no idea what frame we're on right now, right? Yeah. It won't shoot me in, like, world record pace, but if you're in, like, a GDQ run, that is the most terrifying thing ever. <laughs> oh, man. That, that's scary. Yeah, so my job is all the ones and threes of every world, right? Yeah, as long okay. as you don't die somewhere and mess it up. So this level is a re recycle of one three, right? But mm -hmm. it, all it does is have smaller platforms and random bullet bills that I feel like I'm actually getting quite lucky with. Nice. Should have gotten all the coins, then we could have gotten the one up. No coin chips, please. No coin chips. <laughs> right. Uh, I've submitted one thing to uh, SGDQ. Yeah, only one thing. <clears throat> That's a solo run. I've submitted a solo run of SMB3 mix to SGDQ so far. I don't know what their plans are on like accepting that. I don't know if they're in like if AGDQ is just strictly like a ROM hack thing and they're not doing any more ROM hacks. I have no idea. So, I tried. I'm trying that game first to see. Don't know why you said AGDQ. It's so, dude, we all do it. It's so hard to either say SGDQ or AGDQ. You have to think, is it warm or cold out right now? Okay. Whoa. That was pretty close. That was scary. Like, one of my few discoveries in this game is in this level. <laughs> you can make him not throw that spiny. That's a beautiful discovery. No. I contributed to Mario 1. It doesn't save any time. So it may seem like I'm actually good at Mario 3 or Mario 1, but once you become like a an in-depth speedrunner, you actually you actually develop the habit of no matter what game you play, you always hold forward and jump the whole time. It's just like it's something you pick up as a speedrunner. I would do the same thing in a game I've never played before. I just instantly would start to try and do it fast. It's kind of like a it's just something that takes over you when you become a speedrunner. You it's, like run off a cliff at the start of levels. Yep, yeah, because you just it's just what you do now when you play games. Um, a lot of people c could say that they hate it, but I actually I enjoy it because, you know, obviously if I didn't enjoy playing it that way, I wouldn't play it that way. So My favorite thing is in new Mario games, like Odyssey. I, I would love just being like, I wonder if I can get up there, and then you find a way up. Yeah, just like not letting any roadblocks kind of you know block you right you're yeah. no boundaries they would like put hidden coins on every time i tried to get somewhere it's like they knew i could get here it's crazy. <laughs> they put it up there it turns out it was the uh, the the pictures the paintings and it's like you, you were supposed to get there the other way like you yeah. got there the wrong yeah. way <laughs> that did happen a couple times i was like oh i'm supposed to like jump down to it <laughs> <laughs> so i totally didn't do that correctly oh, oh. almost fireworks Almost fireworks. We don't have any fireworks so far. No. Nice. And I don't think I've died yet, guys. I can't believe it.
You enjoy grinding? Yeah. Well, Sonic the Hedgehog was designed for speed. <clears throat> I get asked a lot of people uh, if I think that when they created like Mario 3, if they were designing it through uh, speed and... No, I don't, I don't think so at all. I, I do not think they designed Mario 3 around speed running. But after they made some of the levels, they were definitely like, we can do this fast. Why do you think they made the timer work the way they did? How it goes How super it's... slow if you run? I have no idea. I think there, there's probably something where the speed and the timer share some kind of the same oh, properties or something. Um, where X amount of speed will slow down something. I have, that, That's the best thing. I have no clue why it would do that. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. There's a mushroom over there if you want. Or you can do bullet dog glitch. I mean... I'll do bullet bill glitch on the on higher the, one. On the one. <laughs> it makes no the, sense. The task actually does that. Really? In in five one. Oh okay. Yeah. So like I'm not that crazy then. Yeah. It's like one lower, but yeah, it's not on the ground. Oh, you got your your water right there in the oh, in your G fuel. It's filtered too, so you don't have to like. Did he just give me tap water? <laughs> Yo, J Price, thank you for the tier two for 32 months. Yo, Chips, what's going on, man? What's your favorite video game glitch of all time? Dude, I really, really like uh, <clears throat> Mario 64's, like, lobby glitch and stuff like that. Like, being able to break through the doors like that is... I always like those glitches because when I was a kid playing Mario 64, you know, that stuff didn't exist. Are you kidding me? We didn't know what the heck we were doing. And then I like uh, Door of Time skip. In Ocarina yeah. of Time, that's one of my favorites. You know, I, I uh, Ocarina of Time is my first speed game. I thought I couldn't be a speedrunner because I tried Dora Time Skip and it was too hard. It's so hard. Did you do the old school style one where you line up the handle of your sword with yeah. the side of the yeah. conch? Yeah, that's how I did it too. And you do the back roll left. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, Ocarina of Time was um, Ocarina of Time was one of the first speed speed runs that like I watched, but I didn't um, I didn't really speedrun it until later. Until like the speedruns.com uh, website came up and was, wow, was really teaching you how to do um, the glitches. And then you learn like how easy they actually are because the game runs at like, what is it like 23 frames or something? Just 20. 20. Yeah. So Mario runs at 60 frames per second and Zelda Ocarina of Time runs at 20 frames a second. So you have a lot of time. You can actually press start and unpause in between frames, right? And they call that pause buffering. Mm hmm so you can do that to actually control frame by frame your movement. It allows you to do a lot of crazy glitches. Not to mention the 64 was a broken, broken ass system. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Can't lie about that. Yo, Devin, welcome back for 45 months, dude. Wee! When did we become big? You got hit? I did. All right. Uh, I don't know if notifications were on or off, but I just turned them back on. Eve, what are you doing? Huh? Come on. 8-1 is free. Nothing can go wrong. Oh, yeah. I got to do 8-1. I used to know 8-1. Get 200. Yo, Bismuth. What's going on? Oh, I, can't, I can't do this. I can't remember it. There's no way. I already messed up because I have to do the the pipe jump, right? Yeah. Wait, if I would have got hit there, I would have died, right? Mm -hmm. Where's the power-up? <laughs> there is zero in this level. Are you serious? Yep. They didn't put a single power-up in 8-1? Right There's there. a star. Yeah, I'm getting that. Which actually kind of doesn't help. Isn't like the portion of the star free? Like, um, like, like you just do a couple just of this pipe jump, but like it's faster to just wait for them to go down than to grab the star. So yeah. <laughs> scared. That was scary. Super Bill kill strats. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> oh man, that was the ROM hack tournament we did at AGDQ. <laughs> Me and Bismuth were in the grand finals. Ooh. Oh, this is oh that would be this beginning would be much harder as Big Mario, right? Yeah. Not like insanely Especially harder. When, yeah, it's really easy to get hit by Lakitu and that Koopa. But because you delayed there, it's gonna actually change a pattern somewhere else, right? There's gonna be like a different pattern for something, or am I wrong? Um, the like Koopa the, is slightly different. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I mean. The, yeah, the, one of the Koopas, it's... Alright, we're going for it. We're going for the Bullet Bill glitch. Oh, come on. Dang. We lost the 
We lost the 50 50. Yeah, I think I would have Come gotten on, get out of here. I executed right, but. <laughs> I did everything <laughs> right. The game was wrong. <laughs> it only works. <clears throat> Yo, Tiggs. Mars, what's going on, dude? Oh, you give me this? Okay, where's the. Um, top left. Second top left. From the left. I hope I can squeeze. Or it's top right. Sorry. The on the next set, there's one on the top left. Uh, wait. Get my my speed. <clears throat> I like in this game that the fireballs are actually faster than Mario. In Mario yeah. Three, you you run faster. It than... drives me crazy, and <clears throat> pretty much everyone after this, I think, they just go like the same speed or slower. It's 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 really cool that in this game you shoot fireballs and they're faster. I don't yeah. know. I always like that because in Mario Three you have to slow down if you need to fire flower certain things when like you're. Like eight two is so hard getting up the hill. I know. I <laughs> it sucks. And the RNG of the sun. You never know when the sun's gonna hit you. Yeah, that, that's never happened to you before. It's a nightmare. One of us are gonna is gonna get a wall jump tonight. I promise. I promise you. I don't know where your TV is. My bad. <laughs> yeah, you got it. All right, I can do duck swim now. <laughs> so now the top of me doesn't have a hitbox. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know, when he says "I don't know your TV," trust me, there's a lot of meaning. <laughs> there's a lot of meaning behind that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know your TV. <laughs> this is like a very speedrun only thing you ever hear. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> that still makes me. I don't know your TV. <laughs> okay, we did it. I'm not familiar with your TV. <laughs> right on. I saw a meme today on uh, Instagram where it's like the two princesses were like laughing, like Mario's in the wrong castle, and I thought it was. I thought it was hilarious. Right. 